Welcome to Calcutta Races Spring Meeting, second day, Saturday, 15th February 2020, race preview. First race is the Zeba Handicap to be run over a distance of 2,400 meters. We got uh, five runners that have run together in its last outing, uh, starting with number one, Ruck Sharky. Uh, Ruck Sharky's last outing was this season in race time 105 over 2,000 meters, where Ruck Sharky finished on second, uh, two lengths behind the winner. Also, the same race, we had number three, Apna Tamaiga, who finished on fourth. Number four, Beatrix, who finished on eighth. Number five, Inca, who was the winner in that race, won that race by two lengths. And number six, Avalino, who finished on third. We move on to the second race, which is the INS Hoogly Cup, to be run over a distance of 1,600 metres. Number one will be Bang Bang. Bang Bang's last outing was in race number 98 over 1,400 metres, where Bang Bang uh, finished on seventh. Also in the same race, we had number two, Popcorn, who finished on fourth, and number three, Artist Royal, who finished on sixth. And the winner of that race was Excelsior. Number four will be Wind Chaser. Wind Chaser's last outing was pretty an impressive one in race number 104 this season over 1600 meters, where Wind Chaser tried to make it a pillar to post victory, led till about 100 meters away from home, and then eventually was uh, caught up on the outside there by simply soaring. Came up with a dazzling run on the stand side and just about won that race by three quarters of a length. Also, in the same race, we had number seven, Star of Hollywood, who finished on fourth. Number five will be Leslie, Phoenix star of Lunar Quest. His last outing was in race number 81 this season, over 1,400 meters, where Leslie traveled uh, right at the tail end of the field, uh, 10th out of 10 runners till it turned for home, gradually gained places towards the stand side and finished on an eye-catching fifth. Uh, watch out for Leslie. Uh, this has uh, now been running over 200 meters more, is the Leslie. Number six will be Pep Talk. Pep Talk's last outing was in race number 111 over 2,000 meters, where Pep Talk finished on seventh uh, out of nine runners. Also in the same race, we had number eight, Cool Conqueror, who managed to get on board and finished on third after much efforts. And the winner of that race was Classico, who sprung a surprise that day. We move on to the third race, which is the Navy Cup, to be run over a distance of 1,100 meters. Number one, we are looking at Midnight Star. Midnight Star's last outing was over 1,200 meters in race number 116 this season, where Midnight Star practically played no show and uh, finished right at the tail end of the field to finish on 12th out of 12 runners, a faraway 12th uh, by Midnight Star. Also in the same race, we had number two, Dilmange Mo, who finished on 7th, but the eventual winner of that race was East Side, came up with a late dash in the final stages and won it by a length and a half. Number 3 will be Shimmering Star. Shimmering Star has just had one start this season in race number 108 over 1100 meters, where Shimmering Star traveled 8th till it turned for home, gained one place, and finished on 7th. Also, in the same race, we had number 5, Glorious Leaps, who finished on 5th. Number 6, Lumos, who finished right at the back end to finish on 10th out of 11 runners. And number 8, Carpe Noctem, who managed to get on board after much efforts and got on uh, third spot was uh, Carpe Noctem. The eventual winner of that race was Sullivan. Number four will be Artful, very now out of uh, Senior Conon. Uh, Artful's just had one start this uh, season in race number 88 over 1100 meters. And uh, quite an impressive and eye catching run that was by Artful. Traveled fourth till it turned for home, gained places uh, towards the outside, and uh, finished on second. Uh, uh, couldn't match strides to the winner, who was too good that day. That was Namakalal. 
Number seven will be Astoria, a support out of Sangre Azul to start the season, finish off the boat in both its outings. Last outing was over 1,200 metres uh, in race number 89, where Astoria finished on sixth after much efforts. Now travelling with 100 metres less to travel over a distance of 1,100 metres. The winner of that race was Valoristal. Number nine will be Apalachi. Apalachi's last outing was in race number 112 this season, over 1,400 metres, where Apalachi travelled towards the tail end of the field, uh, almost second last out of 14 runners, until it turned for home and uh, remained in that spot and finished on 13th out of 14. The winner of that race was Bojangles. We move on to the fourth race, which is the Own Ability Handicap Division 1 to be run over a distance of 1,200 metres. Number one will be Uncrowned King. Uncrowned King's last outing was over 1,100 metres in race number 79, where Uncrowned King travelled eighth until it turned foam and gradually gained a couple of places and finished on sixth after much efforts, where the winner of that race was Utaka, came up with a strong run down in the centre, did take over the running and won that race by just about a nose. Number two will be Sirocco, burning a proof out of Haboob. Last outing being over 1,400 metres in race number 102. I thought that was uh, quite an eye-catching uh, run there by Sirocco. Travelled third till it turned for home and then uh, towards the rail side, uh, gave a hot-fought battle to the winner that was Asmita and Sirocco settled for a close second, uh, just three quarters, three quarters of a length behind Asmita. Also the same race we had number six, that is uh, X Light, who finished on fifth. Number eight, Luna Lucinda, who finished on eighth. Number nine, that is uh, my Mrs. Willie Nilly, who finished on seventh. And number twelve, Bambini Festa, who finished on tenth. Number three will be Leopard Creek. Leopard Creek's last outing was over 1,100 metres in race time 109, where Leopard Creek travelled eighth till it turned foam, gained a couple of places on the inside, and finished on fifth. And the winner of that race was Sharawati, who came up with a real rattle on the outside and won that by a length and a quarter. Number four, we're looking at Christiana. Christiana's last outing was over 1,400 metres, where Christiana, in race number 66, where Christiana travelled second till it turned foam, did shift out from the straight coast, travelled quite wide of the track in the final stages, and after much efforts, managed to finish on fourth was Christiana. The winner of that race was simply soaring. Number five will be lucky for me, the late Sorbonne. Last outing uh, being in race number 90 over 1,200 metres. Well, lucky for me, travelled towards right at the tail end. Uh, 14th out of 14 runners till it turned firm and then gradually gained places and managed to finish on eye-catching 6th. is uh, lucky for me. The winner of that race was Night of Thunder. Number seven will be Celerino. Celerino's had three starts this season. Finish off the boat in all three starts. Last out team being over 1,200 metres in race number 97, where Celerino finished on 11th out of 11 runners. Winner of that race was Aggression, who came up with a good run down in the centre and took over the running in the last 50 metres and won it impressively by a length and a quarter. Number 10 will be Dakshesh. Dakshesh has had three starts this season. Finish off the board on all three starts. Last outing being over 1,100 metres in race number 45. And Dakshesh finished on 7th out of 13 runners. Winner of that race was Artis Royal, who came up with a very late dash and won that race by three quarters of a length. Number 11 will be Raleigh Polly. Raleigh Polly's last outing was quite an eye catching one in race number 22 of 1100 meters after having run uh, 14th out of 14 uh, in its first start in race number 2. Last outing, as I mentioned, in race number 22, Raleigh Polly traveled 5th till it turned foam and then gradually took over the running and uh, just got beat in the last uh, few strides on the winning post and finished second was Raleigh Polly to the winner that was Swan Light. We move on to the fifth race, which is the Ability Handicap Division 2 for horses in Class 5. 
to be run at a distance of 1200 meters. Number one will be Pachavilla. Pachavilla's last outing was of uh, 1600 meters in race number 103, where Pachavilla travelled. Uh, actually led uh, all the way till about uh, the distance post and then eventually uh, rapidly in fact uh, faded away and finished on ninth out of 12 runners also the same race we had number nine that is uh, storm front who finished on 11th out of 12 and number 11 caledonia who finished one ahead to finish on 10th out of 12 runners the winner of that race was pep dog Number two will be Swan Light. Swan Lights had three starts this season. Uh, came out and won its first outing in race number 22. Last two starts has finished off the board and travelled towards the back end of the field. The Swan Light last outing with uh, race number 79 over 1100 metres where Swan Light uh, did lead all the way. Eventually was overtaken on the outside by a few runners and the Swan Light finished on 9th out of 13 runners. The winner was uh, Utaka. Number three will be Harry Angel. Harry Angel's had five starts this season, finished off the boat in all five starts. Last out team being over 1,400 metres in race number 81, where Harry Angel finished on eighth out of ten runners, winner of that race at Louboutin. Number four will be Itzabukau. Itzabukau's had four starts this season, finished uh, on board only in one start. Uh, remaining three outings, he's finished off the board. Uh, Itzabukau's last outing was in race number 90, where Itzabukau travelled uh, right at the tail end uh, all the way and remained in that spot and finished 12th out of 12 runners. And the winner of that race was Night of Thunder. Also the same race, we had number eight, Poker Prince, who finished on 14. Number five will be Hurricane Storm. Hurricane Storm's last outing was over 1,200 meters at race number 71, where Hurricane Storm finished on 11th out of 11 runners after no show there by Hurricane Storm, and the winner of that race was Shivai. Number six will be Fireberg. Fireberg's last outing was over 1,400 metres in race number 102 this season, where Fireberg travelled fourth until it turned firm and remained in that spot and finished on fourth out of 12 runners. And now running uh, with 200 metres less is uh, Fireberg. Also the same race we had number seven, Buddy Holly, who finished towards the tail end and finished on 11th out of 12. Winner of uh, that race was Asmita. Number 10 will be Fasty. Fasty is at four starts this season. Finish off the board at all four starts. Last outing was over 1,100 meters in race number 109, where Fasty traveled uh, right at the tail end. 11th out of 11 runners till it turned for home and just uh, gained one place and finished on 10th after much efforts with our Sharavati. We move on to the feature of the day, which is the sixth race uh, in the card to be run about a distance of 1,400 meters for Phillies three years old only. Number one will be Silver Bracelet. Win legend out of silver profiles at two starts in uh, her career and has uh, come on and won both her starts. First outing was over 1,200 meters in race number 46. Last outing was uh, much more impressive in race number 85. Uh, made it a pillar to post victory and now uh, been ridden hands and heels uh, by Suraj Naredu. Now being ridden again by Suraj Naredu's silver bracelet. Also the same race we had number two, Namiki, whose uh, last outing was in the same race and finished on second two and three quarter lengths behind the winner that was silver bracelet number three will be around the world one start the season in race number 60 over 1400 meters where around the world that uh, traveled right at the back end and uh, remained in that spot and finished on ninth out of nine runners winner of that race was namiki Number four will be Ember Glow. 
Is that three starts the season finish on board in uh, for the first two starts last outing just about missed the uh, getting on board and finished on fourth in race number 101 over 1400 meters uh, where ember glow traveled fourth uh, till it turned firm and remained in that spot and the winner of that race was black pearl who won that very impressively by six lengths number five will be mystic wonder Will Legend out of Arona. This had one start the season in race number 69 over 1200 meters where Mystic Wonder traveled fifth at till it turned firm and remained in that spot and finished a far away fifth out of five runners. Winner of that race was Black Pearl. We move on to the seventh race of the afternoon, the Mayor's Cup, a class 2 affair for over 1200 meters. The first runner we are looking at is Surf Romance. Surf Romance has had uh, five starts in this season, placed second in each of his first three starts, then was a winner in race number 82, and then in its last start in race number 106, Surf Romance was racing in mid bunch. When asked for an effort, didn't have much to offer, fell back and finished on fifth. The winner here was Brahmachari. Next up, we're looking at two runners here. Number two, Double Nine, who has had uh, three starts in this season, placed second in his first start in race number 35, then uh, finished fourth in his each start in uh, race number 82. Double Nine was traveling in fourth spot and uh, stayed there and uh, finished on fourth. Then we got uh, number eight, Migrator. Migrator has had three starts, has been off board in each of his start. In last start in race number 82, the winner here was Surf Romance. Next up, we're looking at uh, number three, Tough Enough, who was a winner in race number 47. Uh, in its next start, going over 1400 meters, Tough Enough was traveling in second last spot as the horses took the turn. Then Tough Enough came up with a run down the center, but uh, settled for third spot. In the same race, we had number 11, Luminac, who was a winner in race number 76, earlier start. And in this start, Luminac was racing prominently, dropped back to finish sixth of eight runners. Next up, we're looking at number four, Aquatania. Aquatania has had three starts. In the first start of its uh, season one is, was his best start, where it finished on second in uh, race number 11, over 1,100 meters. Since then, Aquatania has raced in uh, two races and uh, been off board on each of his start. Over here, finished on eighth of ten runners. The winner here was Lesril. Next up, you have number 5, Gorish, who's been a uh, winner in two starts already in this season. In its first start in race number 1, Gorish went uh, on a start-to-finish mission and won that race uh, by about length and a quarter. Then had a couple of placed effort. In its last start, Gorish again made it a start-to-finish affair and won that race very readily, beating off Luminac. Next, we're looking at number 6, Arashi. Arashi has been... Uh, Little of uh, color in this season, where it finished on fifth in its first start, sixth in its last start. In its uh, last start, where it was slow to begin, was traveling in ninth, ninth spot as the horses took the turn, then uh, made some gradual progress towards the inside, and Arishi finished on third of uh, 12 runners. The winner here was Namak Halal. Next, we're looking at number seven, Fortune Express. Uh, was very speedy in its last start, took over the running uh, as the gates flung open. Then, uh, as the horses took the turn, Fortune Express uh, broke into a lead about two and a half free lengths. And uh, in the last hundred meters, Fortune Express ran out of gas and was uh, passed by East Side. And uh, Fortune Express held on for second spot. Next up, we're looking at number nine, Big Star. Big Star was a winner in its last start in the monsoon season. However, has been off board in each of his three starts. In his last start, Big Star was racing 11th of 13 runners as the horses took the turn and then finished on 10th. The winner here was Rick Ware. Next, we're looking at number 10, Intense Suspense, who came down from Mysore and has had one start in uh, race number 108 where Intense Suspense ran a forward race, was in second spot as the horses took the turn. When asked for an effort, Intense Suspense had nothing to offer and fell back, finished last of 11 runners. The winner here was Sullivan.
we move on to the eighth and last race of the afternoon the twilight lady handicap or no whiff affair over class four uh, for class four horses over 1200 meters the first runner we are looking at is number one rare bird rare bird has been consistent in its last two start where it finished on second in race number 83 then again in its last start rare bird went on a start to finish mission was uh, beaten close home by excelsior and the other runner we are looking at is number eight rich tribute who's uh had a couple of start in this season after coming down from Mysore and uh, Rich Tribute has been off board in each of his start. Next we are looking at two runners again, number two Bacardi. Bacardi has, uh, was a winner in its earlier start in race number 49 where uh, Bacardi uh, won that race over 1100 meters. Since then Bacardi had a placed effort in race number 72. And in his last start, Bacardi finished on fifth. Then we had number three, Modification. Modification was winner in his first two starts. Since then, has been off board on each of his four starts. And number 13, which is uh, Miami. Miami has had uh, four starts and has been off board on each of his starts. Over here in race number 97, the winner here was Aggression. Next, we're looking at number four, Pixel. Pixel has had a couple of starts. In his last start, Pixel finished 13th of 13 runners. And it was uh, noted that uh, Pixel was trotting lame after the race and the winner here was Utaka. Next we are looking at number 5, Exotic Lady. Exotic Lady has had one start in this season where Exotic Lady was travelling in 4th spot as the horses took the turn. And uh, then when asked for an effort, Exotic Lady had not much to offer and uh, finished on 5th of 13 runners. The winner here was TR Queen. Next we have two, two runners we are looking at. Number 6, Telvio Pass, who had been on off board on each of his four starts. And then we had number 7, Adved. Adved has been consistent in his last two starts. When each of his starts, it went on a start to finish mission. And uh, in his last start, Adved was holding on uh, for quite a while. However, uh, Sharavati came up with a very late dash and got that race very close home. And Adved had to settle for a second spot. We also had number 10, uh, Abelson, who finished on 4th in this race. And number 11, Knight of Thunder, who finished on 9th. Next up, we are looking at number 9, Sandremo. Sandremo was... Uh, Second in his last start and uh, where it uh, was uh, travelling towards the end of the field and came up with a big run down the centre and fell short by about uh, length than a quarter. Earlier in its uh, season opener, it also finished on second over 1100 metres. Next up we are looking at number 12, Tomorrow Forever. Tomorrow Forever has been unplaced in both of its start in this season. However, uh, was a winner in its previous season in the winter season in race number 40 and tomorrow forever is uh, being ridden by Sujit Kumar Paswan. Thank you ladies and gentlemen. See you at the races tomorrow.